Welcome to another episode of Keep On Painting. Today, I'm going to do a painting of a chimpanzee. And also, I'm going to talk about uh, painting from the heart. And in these videos, so far I've talked a lot about uh, how to make money and how to make a living and how you got to be able to pay the bills and you have to do paintings that are going to sell and that people want. And sometimes that gets confused with being a machine and just producing paintings and not really painting from the heart. And that the real trick is to paint like a machine, but also be painting from the heart at the same time. And I think the best way I can tell you or describe that to you is uh, a, a story that happened to me. It was early on. I was just starting to sell paintings fairly regularly. I decided to do a large abstract painting. The gallery I was selling in, they were selling a lot of uh, interior decorator friendly painting. And so, so I thought, okay, I'm going to do this large abstract. And I had not done an abstract before, and a lot of the artists I was hanging out with were kind of against abstract art, that they saw it as kind of cheap or uh, uh, easy, I guess. So one day I do this large abstract painting, and it was kind of fun. It was exciting doing it. It was, it was, uh, it, it was rebellious within my circle of artist friends. And so I had a good time making it. I took it into the gallery and it sold immediately. It was kind of shocking. And at the time it was the biggest check I'd ever gotten for a painting. And so, yeah, it was, uh, it was exciting for me. In my mind, I thought, I'm just going to do another painting exactly the same and get another nice check for it. So I, I did another abstract painting. Hey, quit. I did another abstract painting that to me, it looked exactly the same as the painting that I had just sold. I took it into the gallery. Even the gallery director at the time, he said, oh, this is great, cool. Hung it up, could not sell the painting, couldn't give it away. I eventually, I ended up getting the painting back. And I think the reason it didn't sell was because there was just that that vibe that was missing, that the excitement of that first abstract was in that painting, you know, it was in the heart of that painting. Whereas when I tried to do another one and just copy it and just make some money, people saw through it or, or people detected that the vibe was not there. You know, another another great uh, example is um, Van Gogh. That if you ever get a chance to read Van Gogh's letters to his brother, they're really fascinating. And it's it's when you're reading those letters, you get to see the pure passion he had for painting. It was the only thing he could talk about is painting. His letters seldom talk about anything else except for painting and how to just survive long enough to make another painting. So the bottom line is, is that every painting you do should have that excitement that it's the first time you've, you're doing the painting. These chimps, I've painted, I'm probably up around 300 of them that I've painted, uh, some small, some large. And I think part of the challenge for me now is to maintain that level of excitement going into it. Like, I'm going to do the exact same subject 
but how can I do it in a, a, a way that's different? And how can I make this next one exciting? So like on this particular chimp, it's quite possibly the thickest paint I've used to try to paint a chimp. So that was kind of exciting. And, you know, I think it, it shows in this little chimp painting. I, I actually like this painting quite a bit. I've, I've held on to it for several months now. I've, I've not taken it into the gallery. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I like this painting. It was something, it, there was a little breakthrough I had with this one. And it was a, a nice deviation from the chimps I had been painting for for several years now in this particular kind of photorealistic style. And having the camera on it doing the time lapse kind of added to some of that excitement too. So sometimes you can just change the surroundings that you're painting in and that will give a new life to some of the paintings that you're working on. So yeah, thanks for watching. I enjoyed talking about painting with heart. That was kind of fun. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out Instagram. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Sometimes I feel like a lizard in a tin box. Sometimes it's just like being in a tin box. Like a lizard in a tin box. Shine.